right? So for simplicity, let's reduce our constructor, which only takes uh, this context. Okay. And as you can see here, the super class, uh, we can just give the name of our database. So our database name is this variable, pass it here. Third is factory, we are going to pass null here. And the version, for example, version is equal to one. Now, whenever this constructor is called, your database will be created. Okay. Now, in order to create the table inside your database, we are going to create a table whenever this on create method of this class is called. Okay. So you can see the da SQLite database class is the argument inside on create, right? So we can just take this uh, DB, which is a variable of SQLite database dot execute SQLite or exact SQLite or SQ. So take this uh, instance DB and call a method called dot exact SQL. And what it does is it executes whatever query you pass inside uh, this uh, method as an argument. So it takes the string variable or a string query. So here you can prepare your create table query. And then whenever it's called, it's going to execute this query and it's going to create this table. Okay. So let's write our query. For example, create the table name. So create table. And the table name in our case is this one. So you can use this concatenation operator to concatenate this. And then inside your brackets, your column names comes, right? So first column name is ID, or you can just take these, uh, these names, column one, column two, column three, and column four uh, here. So inside double quotes and plus plus, you can write column one. And then let's uh, write our query first and uh, let's uh, forget about these variables. So let's understand first how this query is written and then we can insert these variables here. Okay. So just write create table and your table name and then in the brackets, comes the ID, which is uh, the first column name, and then comes the attributes of this uh, column. So it will be integer. And it's going to be my primary key. Pri primary key means the unique key, which you will be able to uh, identify the tail uh, rows. Okay. And then it's going to auto increment. Auto increment means it's going to increment automatically even if you don't provide any data for it. Okay. The second column uh, name is name itself. And the attribute or the data type for this is text, for example. The third column will be surname. And the data type is text for it also. And the fourth uh, column is uh, the marks column. So uh, marks and uh, let's create it as integer. So we have created a table using this query. So this query is create table and your table name is student table. And in the brackets, we have provided four columns to it. ID, which is a primary key and it's going to auto increment name, which is a text surname, which is a text and marks, which is a integer data type. Okay. Now one more thing, uh, which, uh, we can do is in the upgrade method, we can once again call uh, this exact SQL. So this is the object we can use dot 
exact sql and in here we can just uh, drop our table if uh, it exists in case of upgradation so drop table if exist and the table name is this one so you can just copy and paste like this okay and once again we are going to create uh, this table so you can now directly call on create here on create and pass this db uh, instance now once this is done what we are going to do is this is just for checking uh, we are going to write a single line of code so that our database is created and the table is created also so just go to the constructor once again in here and just create an instance of sklite database which is the same as this and we will name it as db is equal to this dot get writable database okay and what it's going to do is it's going to create your database and table and uh, in next video we are going to remove this uh, line we are because we are going to write our code to insert the data into the database so this is just for checking now database helper code is done i think just one more little change which I would like to do is this key spelling is wrong. It should be K-E-Y instead of K-A-Y. And now what we are going to do is we are going to uh, take this database helper class and create an instance of this database helper class in our main activity dot Java class. So copy this uh, class name, go to your main activity dot Java file and create an instance so write the name of your class and the instance names for example my db and now in our on create method of main activity dot java file you can just create a new instance so my db new and then new database helper okay and this takes one argument which is the context so you can just write this and everything will be fine now once everything is done what it's going to do is it's going to call the constructor of this database helper class and what we are doing in the constructor in the constructor we are creating the database right and the table okay so once this constructor is called this code is called and it's going to create the database and the table for you okay so let's run our program now our app is running so you can see this uh, activity which is blank activity and it's uh, not going to do anything right now but what it has done is once this activity is invoked it's going to call your on create method in your main activity and in turn it's going to call this uh, constructor and this constructor is going to create your database and your uh, table inside your database. Now to check whether your database is created or not, how you can check uh, and where where is the location of uh, this database. So let's see uh, where can we find this database. So go to your Android Studio and in here go to this uh, tab called Tool and then go to android and click android device Man monitor okay so click android device monitor and once your android device monitor is open you will be able to find your uh, project name in here so my project name or my app name is sqlite app and i can find my app here you can see sqlite app okay once you select this go to the right hand side and in here choose file explorer from from here okay and in this file explorer go to the category called data and open it and once again search for the category called data so data 
go to data and inside data there will be a folder once again called data so go inside that folder open this folder and now you can find your app name here also so my app name is sqlite app i can see here and i will go open this uh, folder here and i can see a folder called database and inside this database i can see my database name which is student.db so now i know that my database is created now if you are more curious about uh, you know seeing inside this database and uh, you want to see uh, if the table is really created or not or uh, uh, if you, once uh, we are going to insert some data you want to see the data if it's uh, there or not uh, I will show you a simple trick which will help you you can export this uh, database to your local PC okay so right now it's in your Android device so you can export this database on your PC and then you can uh, you know query this database or you can see inside this database uh, what's inside this database okay so this is just for checking the content of your database by transferring this database to your local PC and see what's inside it so just select your database in my case student.db and you will be able to see this small button here which uh, says pull a file from a device so click this and it's going to open a file explorer and then you can select your uh, choose chosen uh, location and save it on your chosen location for example I'm going to save it on the desktop and it's going to save it there and then what you can do is you can uh, you know if you have SQLite installed on your windows you can just open your terminal and uh, you can uh, see inside this um, database one uh, more helpful uh, tool I'm going to show you in order to uh, see inside this database and this tool is called SQLite manager which is a Firefox plugin so if you have a Firefox browser it's going to help you a lot what you can do is you can uh, open your Firefox browser and go to the settings here and go to add-ons and search for an add-on called SQLite and it's going to search for uh, this SQLite manager, manager 0.8.3 you just need to install it just install it and then restart your uh, browser and once your browser is restarted you can go to settings once again and then go to customize here and in here you will be able to see this tool SQLite manager you can draw drag and drop this in to your uh, you know tools here and then exit customize and now you will be able to open this from here so just open SQLite manager click OK and now you can browse your database so my database is on the desktop and make sure you select all files from here okay so you will be able to see this .db file okay so select all files from here and select your database and open and now you can see this database and there is a table called student table which we have created and this table is containing four columns id name surname and marks scored by the student okay and you can browse the type integer text text integer which we have uh, provided and our id is a primary key you can see so the database content you can see using this sqlite manager okay so this is a simple little trick which you can use so that's it for this video and in the next video i'm going to show you how you can uh, insert data into your sqlite database using android i hope you have enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye